Welcome to Drew's office. What do we mean by dependent drop-down lists? In this cell here, if we have a drop-down list and choose from one of these continents, then the next drop-down list should only show the countries from the chosen continent. So the three main topics today are named ranges, which we'll use for our data list, data validation for our drop-down list. We'll be using formulas to bring our worksheet to life. There's a few different ways to name a data range. Select the data rows, click in the name box, give it a name and press enter on our keyboard. Always a good idea to check the name box again, just to make sure the new name is there. Another way to name a data range, select the data and include the heading up to the formulas tab. And we want to create a name from our selection. And if we tick top row, our new named be called Africa. Let's quickly name the other data ranges. If we check our name box again, we see all those lovely named ranges. And this is the key to making the second drop down dependent on the first one. We have a continent named Asia, and we also have a named range called Asia. For our first drop down list, we can select all three cells over to the data tab and choose data validation. And in this box, Excel wants to know where is this list? And we're going to say it's equal to our named range called continent. And for our second drop down list, let's select these three cells. We could type equals Asia in this box and Excel will refer to our named range. The issue that we have is when we choose a different continent, the second drop down is not dynamic. We need to use the indirect function. Let's empty this box and type out our formula. And the indirect function will look at the value in cell A2 and use it as a reference to our named range. And if you agree that Excel is fantastic, hit that like button and leave me a comment to let me know. Check out my other videos to learn more about Microsoft Office 365.